Because, for example, let's look at another one. Let's. I'm going to bring up another one. How do you not you can know? Have... I just defined it. Hang on. I want you to repeat. No, that, because I disagree. I disagree. That my definition I, before no, you disagree, disagree with it. Your definition is it's sexualization for the intent of using your sexualization to make money. Yes. But yes. that, can, so be, with that, that. can be extended to so many things, including regular actresses, regular models, That's waitresses. Right. It can, yes. It can, okay. exactly. So, and none of those so, things are virtuous because it can be extended no, no, it, to all of these virtuous. things where people Listen. utilize their sexuality for the purposes of making money. Yes, that's correct. He, you nailed it right out of the, you knocked it out of the park, homie. Okay. Okay. All right. Listen. Hello, everybody. This is the Shays Podcast. Welcome. The Shays Podcast is all about exposing what the world deems to be their version of sexual morality. The world's version of sexual morality, of how sex should be operated in morally. It's depraved. It's out of touch with reality, it goes into depravity. It's a lot of bad things whenever we operate sex and how the world, the secular world, wants us to operate sex in. But that being said, the clip that you just seen was Andrew Wilson talking about what sex work is. So, Ray, do you agree with his definition of what sex work is? 100%. I mean, it's the definition from the dictionary, ultimately, so... Yeah, I yeah. agree with it. Everything lines up perfectly. Mm -hmm. It is, and let me go ahead and just read it really quickly because I don't want to go ahead and get this wrong. We need to understand that whenever we look and perceive what the definition of sex work is, then therefore a lot of women operate in being a sex worker. Now, you may think that a sex worker is just someone who just sells her body for other men to use her. No, no, that's prostitution. That is under the umbrella of of sex work so whenever we read this definition we will then have to say wow does that mean a lot of women fall under that definition yes most certainly here's the definition really quickly and now i need to look really close i don't have all my contacts <laughs> or glasses so the definite the definition of sex work is the deliberate purpose of an individual to sexually arouse another to gain resources or money. The deliberate purpose of an individual to sexually arouse another to gain resources or money. She is utilizing her sexualization. And if you don't know what sexualization means, it is the act of endowing with sexual characteristics or of excessively emphasizing those characteristics for money or resources. Or to put it simply, to sexualize yourself for money or resources. Now, typically whenever we think of sex work, we think of prostitution, as I previously said. Again, that is an umbrella of sex work. A lot of women are not prostitutes, thank God. However, a lot of women can be sex workers through the median of social media, of the dating market, and through actually engaging in sex. Now, I want to go ahead and touch on social media. By looking at this definition, right, it kind of like blew my mind saying, wow, a lot of women on social media who you like, who you follow, who you jerk off to, she is a sex worker, even though she may not admit it. But if she is there to sexually arouse another individual by her posting squat videos, but, at, but it's under the facade of her giving tips on how you should squat better as though there are not hundreds of other videos who talk about the same thing. She is a sex worker. Yeah. Certainly. And it's even a lesser degree of pornography as well. Because pornography is the depiction of erotic behavior between uh, pictures or, and or writing. Like writing as in you know, like the Playboy magazines mm -hmm. back in the day and stuff like that. But yeah, it's a lesser degree of pornography as well. So that just brings something else into it. But all of you men who are you know tricking, because you guys are tricks, I'm sorry. Yeah or a lesser degree of tricking, ultimately. All the dates that you are taking these women on, uh, those are resources. It doesn't yep. just have to be money. Right. Those are resources as well. So you're ultimately being used by the woman that you are going on a date with. And I even <laughs> saw, you showed me a video of a guy saying, POV, you take a girl out in Miami, and the bill is like $2,000. And of course, she's dressing in a central manner. So mm -hmm. he's right. ultimately being used, and she is... A sex worker by definition a sex worker because she is 
excessively showing her sexual characteristics in order to gain resources. Right. Now, is she, I mean, I suppose you could say, for those of you who are a little bit extreme in this, no, no, she's also gaining money. I mean, sure, um, if the guy is giving her money, but I would say she is giving the man is giving her money in a way that she's paying for her food in a way that she is uh that he is buying her presents of which she can then sell and then giving her money sure but nonetheless she is ultimately using that man for resources through food through yachts through traveling all of this stuff so this isn't necessarily our point is not necessarily we are bashing the woman but it's even more pathetic on the men <laughs> right. Uh, you men need to understand the definition of what sex worker is so that whenever you are meeting a woman and if she is excessively displaying her sexual characteristics to you, then you would say, huh, she may be a sex worker. She may be trying to trick me in a lesser form of degree of tricking. Uh, I cannot believe those words came out of my mouth. This sounded ghetto, but yet intellectual at the same time. You are a trick in a lesser degree. Um, what's even worse, too? You are going to engage with this woman through the medium of dating, of courtship, and you may not even receive the box. So it's not like, okay, I suppose it's a good thing because now, one, you're being used uh, to give her resources, and two, you're also going to be used to give her sex, right? right. Or maybe not her sex, but she is um, going to give you sex because really a lot of women who are prostitutes, it's the woman giving her sex to them not the man giving sex to her because she is ultimately using her sex to gain money right hopefully y'all guys understood that but nonetheless what ray said was absolutely true y'all guys are tricking just in a lesser degree and then it all comes back to the overall intent of the woman uh it doesn't have to necessarily be a verbal you know communication of someone asking a woman if she's using a guy in this manner for these amount of resources, but just off the way that she's dressing and the things that she does and the certain things that she participates in, people with brains from the outside can see like, okay, I know what she's right. you know, what trying to get at. I know what right. she's trying to do or what she's kind of doing. It's, it's all just lining up definitions. Right. And in what we see in the real world, it's, it's right. not rocket science at all. Right. It's just, it's just sex work to a yeah. lesser degree. Very simple. Yeah. Uh, so that was, in regards to the dating market, a lot of men who are out there, and if you see a woman who is excessively expressing her sexual characteristics, she may want to gain resources from you. Therefore, y'all are both using each other as a means to an end. Yet, women, uh, especially women, again, I'm not specifically trying to point y'all guys out. Y'all guys ask the idiotic question, why do you care about what I dress? Because it ruins society, and you are, by definition, a sex worker. Therefore, you are a person who acts like a psychopath and uses another man to give you resources and the men i mean it's worse for the men because the man really isn't tr gaining anything from that exchange perhaps he has a fine girl in front of him and that's it maybe posts her on social media if she allows him to um but the only time where he wins is whenever he has sex with her of which then now he is by definition having sex with a prostitute like gee it's double whammy and then we get to a point <laughs> to where we're having ungodly sex which leads to mm. numerous consequences but this is not that type of video right. if you do want to hear those you know yes check out our other videos we talk about that all the time but yeah it's really an l on men yes it's really an l on men mm -hmm. so just, just as what you were saying Sure, you might get sex after, but then you're participating in godly sex, which right. ultimately comes down to a sin. Mm -hmm. If you're religious, if you're not, it's still a sin. Right. It's, it's just, just oh, it's an overall L. Whole host it's of an problems. overall L. And mm -hmm. the men who are doing this, you're ultimately giving the woman leverage in this situation. They're just like you said, they're just simply using you. They don't care about you. Mm. They right. just care about the money and the materialism right. that you can provide for them. And so of course, I suppose you sad. could. I suppose you could feel somewhat good because she chose you out of lots of other men, but not that she specifically chose you. Maybe you were just for that day. Oh, exactly. She um, got to you first. <laughs> right. And then maybe she want to go ahead and um, maybe she'll go ahead and praise you in order for you to continue to give her resources. Guys, this is what we're trying to say. You're dating sex workers. For those of you in Miami, for those of you who are in New York and Dallas, oh my gosh, um, you are dating sex workers. You may have lots of sex workers on your phone, but yet you think that you're the man. No, 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 no. And, in, and if you 
um, dated someone and if you gave her money and if you had sex with her, you also had sex with a prostitute. You're a trick by definition. So that's one way in the dating market on how sex work uh, can be performed. Another one is through social media. This one I've been thinking about a lot, but my mind kind of calmed on that because I was trying to come up with an argument saying most of these girls, right, they'll just simply go ahead and say that, no, I I'm not necessarily doing anything wrong. It's y'all guys who are sexualizing me. No, not necessarily. Just by me looking at the definition of what sex work is, uh, a lot of Instagram girls fall under that definition. Let me go ahead and give you a scenario. And we've said this before, um, right? Imagine we are with a Instagram model and we say, hey, uh, I want you to go ahead and read uh, with a hoodie on with no makeup on either to your viewers about uh, the philosophy of sexual ethics. I want you to go ahead and read to your viewers about the philosophy of ethics in general. Forget sexual ethics, just ethics in general. OK, I want and then report back to me within a year if your viewership decreased or increased, if a lot of the men who followed you um, left or they stayed on. Please let me know. Remember, you have to be in a hoodie and you have to have no makeup on. So with that being said, most likely her viewers and her, her yes will decrease. So then the question is, what are you doing in order to gain resources? You are excessively displaying your sexual characteristics, which then therefore considers you as a sex worker. Womp, womp, womp. Yeah, yeah. Guys, you're liking sex workers. I hope you know that. You are giving them resources. You are a trick of a lesser degree. You are. You are. So maybe, and this just kind of brings me back to Christianity, man. Christianity is a W upon W upon W upon W. Christianity tells us all of these things to stay away from. I wonder why. Because maybe God doesn't want you to be a lesser trick. <laughs> God doesn't want you to be. God doesn't. God doesn't want to. God doesn't want his man to be a lesser form of a trick, Ariel, Elizondo, Dash, Ariel, Elizondo. I put it right there. Ultimately, why religious people are more disciplined, right? Because if we believe we have this faith, and we believe everything that is in the Bible, our book then we refrain and stay away from these certain activities because we know that right. most of them are immoral right. and or right. just wrong and bad for us as a society. Yeah. So this is why we stay away from them. But for you, the secular man that just wants to sit here and participate in whatever he wants to participate in, then this is what happens. You right. are a trick yeah. and you have sex with a sex, a worker. sex worker. Yeah. So you are either a lesser form of a trick or you are a fully trick. Yeah. Either way, it's a double whammy for you, right? It's an L it's, on L. It's all like, I hope by you understanding that, I hope whenever you go out on your next date and she says no to you regarding sex, like, okay, cool. I mean, at least I'm a lesser form of a trick because if I would have had sex, I would have become a fully trick. <laughs> Come on, guys. We're trying to help you guys out. Don't be trick, okay? Uh, don't be pathetic. And so that was through social media through the dating market, and I don't even know if we should even touch on this one, um, but full on going out into the club, going out to Sex Flags over Texas, and um, talking to someone just for the purpose of, just, just so y'all can both have sex. I mean, sometimes y'all don't even need to go out on dates. Yeah, it's... it's, it's well, yeah, and then we're even coming back to the dates in Miami. Mm -hmm. If the intention is already known from the beginning, or it doesn't even have to be known, but... If at the end of the night you guys engage in that sexual activity, she is a prostitute. Right. She is a prostitute because you're engaging in sexual activity for money. Right. The money, I guess, comes back with the food. If you want to get technical, it's technically a resource, but yes, it, it ultimately is. comes back to the same thing. She would be yeah, it is. a sex worker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's gaining resources through the nice restaurant. I mean, yeah, come on, guys. We don't need to explain to you what she's gaining. It's simply... Like I said earlier, it's just simply lining up definitions. Yes. It's, we're just calling it how we see it. This is mm -hmm. what it is. Mm -hmm. It's not from our definition. No, it's not. This is what was already displayed for us. Right. We're just putting two and two together. Yes. And for you guys that are going to say, oh, 
Well, they made that up themselves. Uh-huh. No. Oh, that's that's what's that. You can look it up for yourself. Yeah, as well. dictionary. Dictionary on Google this is gonna say it. sex work. Um, it is by definition what we said at the beginning of the video that prostitution it's uh it falls under that umbrella of sex work. So we're just simply saying a lot of women are sex workers now through social media. Those who act in the dating market to try to gain resources and uh, guys who just pick up girls and then that night they have sex with a prostitute. Um, I guess. If she just simply wants to have sex with you because uh, she's horny, then yeah, she is by definition a prostitute because y'all are both using each other as means to end. So that would include hookup culture. A lot of guys are participating in hookup culture, which means a lot of guys are tricks then. Guys, it's I just mean. an L on L. And you I'm wonder why t- you know, men are getting shamed for certain things nowadays mm-hmm. because look what you're participating yeah. in. But all in all, I'll say the solution is just mm-hmm. understanding the definition yep. and dating with intention. Dating with yeah. good intention. You shouldn't even be at the table. Either of us wouldn't even be at the table with a girl like that. Or even approach a girl that's dressing that central man in the first place. <laughs> that's just ridiculous how you would do that just for the box. But, you know, it's because right. you can't stay disciplined and you decide to have sex with a whole bunch of girls. Yeah. There's um this one guy that I know. And he just, you know, participates in you know, casual sex. And then... Yeah. There'll be this other guy who, you know, doesn't really have the ability to have as much sex, mm-hmm. but but his his initial thought is always, you know, just get the box, get the box, get right. the box. But no, I would say the difficult thing to do, especially if you have women around you in a day to day, you know, scenario, because you go to college, the discipline thing would do, the discipline thing to do and the harder thing to do would be to refrain from that activity because you have such easy access to go ahead and, and fulfill your innate desire to have sex with a lot of women, right? So it's like, would you want to fall into that desire or would you actually sit there and, and be different and actually refrain from that when you could potentially participate right. in that casual hookup? Yeah. So, you know, it's whatever you want to do. Something to think about. It's whatever you want to do, but I would say the wise decision is to preserve yourself because God ultimately has a plan right. for you. Right. And and the, yeah, and then they kind of like this is totally dismantling the red pill movement. The red pill was telling y'all guys to be tricks to make yourselves the best version of yourselves, and then women become as a byproduct of that. So essentially, the woman is going to go ahead and gain resources from y'all or money, and then she's going to go ahead and give you sex in exchange for your resources, which means you're a trick. I would say that the man is worse in that regard, right? The man is the one really losing. The man looks the most pathetic. Yeah. So again, and I'm going to continue to say this. Shout out Andrew Wilson. Nothing in society happens because men do not allow it. Everything that we see in society happens because men have allowed it. The sex work, men have allowed it. Us um, normalizing pornography, men have allowed it. Everything that we see in society that is going on because men have allowed it. Only fans will be completely dismantled if we stop watching it. Pornography will be completely dismantled if we stop watching it and cancel our subscriptions. Uh, Women acting like whores, they would... They would completely want to change if we stop giving them attention and stop liking them on Instagram. Come on, guys. We're just simply trying to better society. That's all we're trying to do right. on Shades Podcast. And then one <laughs> adding to the red pill, the red pill argument or whatever they portray. So they're telling you to enhance yourself. They're telling you to get all this money so you can take these girls on dates, so you can be sexual, so you can be sexual compatible with right. them in order to figure out if she's the one or not, which is an idiotic notion i don't know who came up with that but anyways so they're telling you to do all these things but in reality there's only a minority of men who can actually participate Mm -hmm. in this sexual activity in the first Mm -hmm. place so all in all you're being set up for failure so okay say you do have the money okay but you don't have the looks the girls are going to pick that up they're Mm -hmm. gonna see you all the depraved women are gonna see you and they're gonna okay yeah this guy has money you know i could put on a facade i actually like this dude quote unquote and now i'm on this date i'm at the cheesecake or actually the cheesecake factory they don't even say that's nice right. anymore whatever well that, kanye um, went there shout right, out to yeah, him you know all the depraved women say that whatever shoo shoo we don't need you anyways so you know you go to the cheesecake factory you go to nobu whatever you know this expensive date and then she's gone she's gone all right comes back to the sex worker term but Ultimately, you're getting used because you can't just have sex with 
a vast majority of women in the first place. Right. So red pill is basically just setting you up for failure. It's only yeah. a minority. Yeah. They're men telling that can you actually to be used, in that. Right. and they're going to set you up for failure because only a small minority of men can actually have the ability to have sex. I met a few guys, and this was in high school. Um, I chose to stay away from that. Um, and I'm not just saying this to blow my horn, but just as a testimony to you, right. I've had said no, and Ray has, and Kyler has. We have said no to girls. I've said no to girls. I've had girls say, hey, let's, yo, I was so uncomfortable. One time, I was in the office, and the girls say, hey, so are you free this Tuesday? And I was free, but I said, hey, no. I was kind of scared, like, no, 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 right? But I've had girls, right? And I would say, hey, you know, are we going to do this? You know, are you going to go ahead and... Like, no, 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 I, I'm not just going to be used by you, right? You are, you sexually desire me. That's all. That's all you want from me, just my sex. I'm not going to be used like that. I'm not going to be a trick. But of course, right, trick is essentially paying for the girl. She wasn't a prostitute, but nonetheless, it still falls back to it. I'm giving her a resource, which is my sex. I had to say no to that. If Men can say no to that, so can you. But unfortunately, you, you guys only look at the men who have the ability to do all of that stuff and look at them. But guys, come on. They are empty. They're shallow. Uh, perhaps they're not at peace with themselves, so that's why they have to go and engage into that. But men who have peace because they have God, they don't need that. Their drive, their sexual drive is used to create, to build, to try to help society not become tricks <laughs> and not be used by other women and vice versa. Uh, so, yeah, so that was just a quick testimony of uh, my career in high school. It's career. a little bit harder to do it out of the world uh, because sometimes it's just work, podcast, work, podcast, right? So you're not really even focusing on girls. I will give my story at a later date, but it's it's pretty bad. It is yeah, pretty yeah, bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Girls so, just kind of, at yeah. least the girls I went to high school kind of just, you know, fling them onto you and it's just like, yeah, it's yeah. not attractive. Right. So we've said, plus no, I knew the right. actual meaning of, mm-hmm, of sex. Mm-hmm. So of course, you know, because you can stay disciplined too. Right. And you don't then, have to engage in everything that feels pleasurable to you. And then it seems as though that I wanted to go ahead and bring that up to y'all because, you know, there's going to be some dorks who haven't even experienced two or three girls, much less five girls, right? Wanting to be with them. So, oh, hello, they're only saying that because they can't. No, no, no. We've had probably even more than you. And I'm yeah. saying that so that you can understand, but like, okay, 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 fine. I get it. I get it. There are men out there who have the ability to have sex with girls, but they say no because they understand the concept of it all. Yes, because it is more fulfilling and you are better than just simply being used as a means to an end. I think we can just end it off on that. That was yeah. beautiful. But if you guys enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe. Shades will be back. But until next time, Shades out. Shades out.